So you might be trying to figure out how to get into the NFT space yourself, but you might not be a designer or you might not know any artists. So you look towards the internet for some answers. Fiverr is one of the biggest websites where you can get some of your design work done. So today I'm gonna be paying five designers to create NFT artwork. Now this video has been done before by Biahiza. Now, if you guys wanna go check him out, I'll link his video in the description below, but he's coming from the perspective of a financial crypto kind of smart drop shipping guy. I'm just a graphic designer. <laughs> So I want to see if I can find quality artistry stuff that I can get from Fiverr. So that's what I'm doing today. I submitted all these orders on January 10th with a very simple prop. I'm looking to create an army of ninjas. I like the NFT profile pics with the crop of the chest. Plain backgrounds are fine. Swapping out weapons, costumes, and clothing is the idea. Please use your style and imagination. That's it. Also, another requirement I wanted for this project is basically two things. I was looking for people that did pixel art and I was looking for people that did 3D art. Those are the only two things. So let's go ahead and meet all five contestants. Our first contestant, Sour AV, and also our $10 and cheapest buy. He will create unique 3D pixel art characters, which are quite hot right now, according to him. Two day delivery. Our second contestant and our $15 NFT artist, G Vitas, is a graphic designer, offers custom pixel art, and even declares that you will get full ownership of the work. Two day delivery. Our third contestant in our $50 price range is Under Silva. We'll make crypto punks and other pixel art. Seven day delivery. Our fourth contestant, $75, Gangadara, will create luxury NFT art. Seven day delivery. And our fifth and final, our most expensive, $150 Fiverr artist, Kudoznik, will create 3D artwork, seven day delivery. Now it's currently January 16th and I have one more day to get the last NFT project in. So now before we jump into the future and take a look at what all five artists created, I'd like to take a second to sponsor this video for myself. Last week I released a video of a 2020 content calendar. If you are a content creator out there that enjoys organizing your stuff and planning out your videos, it's a Google Sheet document with seven different pages which you can organize your thoughts, videos, ideas, creations, camera gear. If that interests you, I'll put the link up to the video right here. I showed two out of the seven different pages. You can go check it out, see if it's worth your time. The price is going up on February 1st to $14.99. It's currently $9.99. So let's go ahead and jump to future Alfred. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're in the future. It's now Monday, January 17th, and I have all the submissions in from all of the artists. Only one of them was late. I'll be getting into that right now. I do want to say before we start, I'm impressed. I'm impressed at you guys. I doubt that these guys will ever see this video, but I got to say there are some very talented people out there. And of course, I mean, they're on Fiverr, they're freelancing their work. And sometimes freelancing is not the easiest to work with people. Anybody that's done freelance obviously knows that. So our first $10 one was by Sour AV and it was our 3D pixel art character. I got to hand it to him. This is exactly the work he portrayed in his portfolio. So if I wanted something like this, I would have got exactly what I wanted. There are a couple things that I don't like about it. Number one being the eyes. I don't know if that's like some type of like head or a mask or something like that, or even just glasses. Um, but I'm not too much of a fan of it. It kind of looks a little bit weird. But secondly, also the crop. I did say I wanted a crop of the chest up and he gave me the full profile picture, which is not too far off from what I should have expected. The rest of his portfolio looked exactly like this. Um, with all of these, I did not ask for any revision. I accepted delivery exactly how they were first try. All right, our second contestant and our $15 guy, G Vitas gave us this bad boy. Now I'm really impressed with this one. This guy said he was gonna give me pixel artwork and he followed the directions to a T. He said I like the face forward profile picture with the chest crop up. He gave me exactly that. He gave me the ninja with a weapon and a costume of course, just kind of like the last guy did. Um, I'm not a too big fan again of the eyes. If the, I don't know why these eyes are red. They should have just been like white. Obviously with different ninjas they could come with different eye color. I think this would be maybe a good example of what one of them could look like. But for $15, I think this is kind of banger. He promised it was gonna be two day delivery. It ended up being like four days or three and a half. Moving over to the third contestant. Who do we have? Under Silva. So this one was $50. I'm not gonna lie, pretty banger. Um, he didn't give me this background color. He actually gave me the PNG all of the ninjas. Uh, basically, he just kind of gave the ninja in four different parts, um, the body, the costume, the weapon, and the eyes and stuff like that. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this. Very detailed pixel artwork. You could definitely see the direction of where he's going with it. Yeah, I mean, this looks exactly like a video game from like the 90s or the early 2000s. Honestly, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. I like the eyes. There's nothing I even want to complain about this one. I mean, at a certain point, it just becomes about what you prefer and what you like to see. Going on to the $75 one by Gangadara, contestant number four, gives us a hand-drawn luxury NFT. Don't forget that. 
And so, yeah, this is pretty hand drawn. You can see uh, definitely a lot of the stroke and a lot of the artworks from he must work off some type of Wacom tablet or an iPad. Um, this is how he delivered it. Is it worth $75? I'm not too sure. He did hand draw it. It's not pixelated artwork or anything like that. Again, he did follow all the rules. Chest up profile picture. I said plain background. He gave gradient type, but I mean, hey, that's his own flair on it. Um, I do like this. I don't think it's worth $75 though. Again, it's not to critique anything that he's done. That's just his price point um, for his art. And he clearly showed that in his resume when I was flipping through his profile on Fiverr. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncover our $150 piece and also my favorites by Kaduzma. This is fire. This is fire. So at first glance, there are a couple things that might not be the coolest thing about it. I'm not a fan of how light the skin is. It almost kind of looks ghostly. I kind of would like a, like a, a little bit maybe even browner tone ninja. But I'm not going to lie. Everything is kind of fire to me. It kind of gives me like a little bit of a Fortnite feel with like the weapons and the color of choices. Uh, but overall, this looks exactly like the other 3D artwork that he has in his resume. So 100%, I'm satisfied with this one. This one's pretty fire. I will have to admit that is $150 well spent. Like I was saying, the 3D ones are way more pricey than obviously the 2D for good reason. I think that they're well worth it if you can find an artist with a good portfolio. Now I do wanna clarify, I don't plan on releasing any of these as NFT projects. If I were to release anything that was NFT related, I'd be designing it myself. This is all purely just for market research. Boys, that's pretty much the video. If you enjoyed it, definitely drop a like on it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Welcome to the Wave Gratitude Show if you are new here. My name is Alfred Romero and I will see you guys next week. Peace.